What's going on, y'all? Podcast episode 60. We are officially in the 60s. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's been a, uh, man, it's been a hell of a year, I'll tell you that. I uh, just got back from Florida. Um, was on a work trip for a few days down in Clearwater. And man, going from, uh, Going from 80 plus degrees down to 30 degrees with snow. Pretty crazy. Trying to, uh, definitely trying to adjust. I got my big ass Carhartt jacket on. But uh, man, it definitely feels good to be back home and kind of back in my own territory. We got the holidays coming up, so it's gonna be should be a good time man it's a good time to uh just be alive and you know just be present in the moment uh, yeah man you know the those work trips they're just they're interesting you know you definitely um you're with people that you wouldn't even think twice about traveling with but you know you <laughs> You kind of have to do it um, and it's a good experience to kind of get out of your comfort zone and get out of uh, your normal schedule for a few days but um, but yeah man you know I, I definitely think it went it went well we had some troubles on the way back with flights getting pushed back and overlapped and this and that but uh yeah, once we finally landed in Cincinnati, it just felt like a, uh, just felt like a relief, man. So, yeah, definitely glad to be back. Been, uh, working on some new music, um, working on a little project with my homie Spade. Um, if you don't know who Spade is, uh... He, he's a producer here in Cincinnati and um, he's helped he helped my buddy Reckless you know with a few projects and uh, yeah man I mean just a good dude super creative guy um, and yeah I mean he approached me because you know we have mutual friend we had a mutual friend in, in Reckless um so when he passed it definitely it definitely um it left a void for both of us you know we both kind of relied on on rec to bring inspiration um friendship kindness love to our craft and um so his passing um, I, you know, I felt like brought me and Spade together, which is which is pretty cool. So, you know, I, I thank Rec for that. I thank Spade for that. You know, for for continuing to uh, follow his his musical dreams and kind of have the same passions and goals that I have. It's cool that we can share that together um, over our over our bond with Reckless. So, yeah, man. I think that's cool. But, uh, yeah, man, trying to work on some new music. Trying to get things going. Um, man, the big thing that I learned, you know, you always learn when you travel, too. Like, there's something that you learn um, along the way. Just kind of getting out of your comfort zone. For me, I, um, I had a night on the beach by myself. I mean, literally, this whole beach... And it was nighttime. It was beautiful out. The waves were really calm. And, uh, you know, I just got a, a nice night under the stars, under the moon, next to the waves, by myself. I mean, there, there might have been a few people on the beach, but nowhere near me. And, uh, you know, the one thing I kept thinking about is how many toxic people I've let kind of control me 
you know? Whether it's uh, old friends, old family, bosses, people at work, negative, negative, like just people out and about, you know? And how I've let these toxic people control me for so long, you know? My mind, my mood, and even my actions sometimes. And, uh, you know, I just, and even some of these people, they're not toxic all the time. That's the problem. But when their toxicity comes out, you know, it's, I'm trying to really learn how to navigate through it without letting it rub off on me and then making me a toxic person, you know? Um, and it's it's funny I literally just had a uh, an interaction not even 20 minutes ago um, that was toxic you know somebody approaching me because they're stressed out and trying to manipulate me into um, into their energy and at first mind you this happened 15 minutes ago 20 minutes ago you know at first I got into my car and I was pissed you know but I just had to take a breath breathe through it realize just because that person's negative doesn't mean that I have to be negative. Just because that person's pissed doesn't mean that I have to leave pissed. That's how they feel. And if they want to be disrespectful, then that's on them. But I'm not going to let that ruin my, my mood for the night. You know, I, I work really hard on being a positive person, creating positive habits for myself. So I'm not going to let this negative, manipulative person control or dominate me, you know? And, and this is definitely a learning experience because I've let this person dominate me before, you know? And not so much like um, in the moment, but like afterwards when I'm, what I mean by dominate, like, you know, maybe we had an interaction and I took that energy home with me and I was still upset and it just gives you anxiety, you know, later on if you linger on it. And uh, I'm just not, I'm not going to let that happen again, you know. I'm not going to let somebody else dominate my mood, my thoughts, my energy. It's not going to happen. Um, because I respect myself more than that. I know what I'm capable of. I'm, I know what I'm worthy of. I know how hard I've worked to get to, to where I'm at. So I don't care who you think you are. You're not going to steal my my thunder, you know what I mean? You're not going to steal you're not going to steal me from me. And like I said, you know, this person has has done this before. Um where they've said something or done something and they didn't like my response to it, so then they try to beat you up over it. And the way I see it, just because you hold a title doesn't mean that you hold a title over me. You know? Just because you hold a title over me at work does not mean that you hold a title over me in life. It doesn't mean that you're better than me at life. And I'm not better than them. You know? This isn't... 
me trying to show that I'm better than this person, we're equal. And while it stinks that I have to have this person in my life, because they are a difficult person to deal with, It is a good learning opportunity for me because I can I can teach my kids how to be around and control their mood and energy when they're around negative people. You know? You can't teach something if you haven't learned it. So it's tough, man. It's tough because this person Unfortunately, it's somebody that I have to be around. It's somebody that, uh, you know, I have to report to and almost talk to on an everyday basis. And quite honestly, it's somebody that if I didn't have to, I literally would never speak to them again. Um, as harsh as that sounds, but it's the truth. So... It's interesting, man. It's definitely interesting how uh, how God and the universe puts people in your path who aren't easy to, to handle. And, you know, it's almost like they're there for a lesson. You know, what's the lesson that you have to learn? And sometimes you just got to swallow your ego, swallow your pride, and just push forward, man. But you can do it without giving up your your mood and your happiness and your energy, you know? You can you can handle that person without giving up you. And it's just part of having a good backbone. Just being strong, being brave and cur- courageous enough to uh, to handle that situation in a good way, in a good manner. And it's tough, man. I'm telling you, it's tough. But yeah, I won't keep harping on it. it just, it's fresh on my mind. So I just wanted to, uh, honestly, I wanted to get on here and just kind of let it out. Because <laughs> it was kind of eating at me there for a minute. But, like I said, man, it's the holidays. It's a good time to be alive. It's a good time to be present. Uh, a little update, man. I uh, I know that I have talked about my meal plan before, and um, you know it's a twenty week plan. I'm on week three, and I feel good, man. It's been um, I think I've had one day where I I guess cheated, and it's not even so much that I cheated. I just didn't. I was traveling, so I couldn't really. I didn't have my foods with me. Um, And it still was a good day. I mean, I still ate healthy. I didn't put anything, you know, the one thing I did put in my body, I did have a few beers um, while traveling. But that was it. You know, nothing, nothing, you know, crazy bad. You know, I didn't sit around eating candy. Um, but yeah, man, I, I feel really good. I feel like I'm mentally clear. I feel like, um, I'm sleeping really well at night, which is nice. I feel like, um, kind of my energy is more sustained. I feel like creative, which is cool. I feel really creative, actually. It's badass. Um. But, but yeah, man, I'm just, I'm pumped to see the effects that this, that this meal plan has on me physically. And I know that those physical changes are coming, you know, I I really do. I feel like it starts in the mind and kind of works, it works its way down. You know, a few physical changes that I've seen, you know, I feel like I've gotten uh, stronger for sure. You know, especially at the gym, I'm able to kind of push my, uh, excuse me, I'm able to push myself a little bit more, 
and um, I'm less winded. I'm I feel um, less tight. I just feel nice and loose. I, I feel good, honestly. Um, so I'm just super excited. I'm excited to see about week ten, week eleven. See how these uh, changes are about to be. You know how how even more mentally uh, well I become and physically. So my overall goal, man, just get stronger. Um, more lean and get strong. You know, that's my main goal. It's been a goal of mine for quite some time. And it's cool to uh, to just really kind of see it in motion for sure. Yeah, man. Hope everyone's doing well. We, um, got Thanksgiving coming up. I can't believe it, man. It's just crazy how fast it's came up on us. I mean, we're already almost to the end of November. I feel like it just started. But, uh, but hey, it's quarter four, man, and we, you know, we're tackling our goals, getting shit done. And that's what it's all about. I'm definitely excited to, uh, to see what happens in 2025 I, I feel good about it I feel strong about it you know I feel like I'm really ending the year off on a good note so it's pretty cool man it's cool to have momentum that's for damn sure it's cool to have momentum on your side you know I've rolled the boulder up the hill and now we get to, uh, now I feel like that boulder's sort of rolling on its own, which is cool. I don't have to push it as much. It's a good feeling. <clears throat> but yeah, man. Working on some new music. If you haven't heard the new album yet, it is out now, everywhere. Continuance. Um, man, I've had uh, some really great response off of it. Um, thank you to everyone who helped play a part in bringing the project together, man. Um, you know, anytime you do a project, people immediately assume that you did everything on your own. And um, that's just not the case at all, you know. I literally have a team of people that have been riding with me and, um, for a while. And it's, it's beautiful, man. It's, it's cool to have, you know, creatives on your side to help you bring a vision together. You know? And I hope, I hope to be that same person to my friends, you know. I want to I wanna inspire and kind of help people get their goals achieved. Definitely working on some new music I'm super excited about. Can't wait to get home and record. Like I said, I have just been... I feel like I, I've had this like, surge of energy. New creative energy. And damn, it's a good feeling, man. It's a good feeling. Plus, I just saw Kendrick Lamar drop the new album, too. And I'm on my way to the gym best believe I'm about to check that shit out. I'm sure it's absolutely fire. Can't wait to hear it. I didn't even want to listen to it at work. I wanted to save it. So I'm definitely pumped about that. Yeah, man. I hope everyone has a good weekend. Start it off strong. Block out negativity. Don't let negative people steal your thunder. Don't let them take you from you. You know, you owe it to yourself. You've worked so hard to become the person that you are. You work so hard to, to be happy. 
to have energy, to have a good positive self-image, to think positive, to have a good mental attitude about yourself. You've worked so hard. Don't let other people take it from you. It's not worth it. You know, because then you have to go back to the drawing board and figure out new defense mechanisms on how to overcome that shit in the future. So just stay true to you, man. Stay happy. It's all a choice. You choose your mood. You choose the way that you want to feel about things. And if you let little shit piss you off from little people, it's going to be tough, man. So, so don't let little people bring you down. And I don't mean that, that we're better than them or bigger than them. But if they're thinking little, if they're thinking smaller, then they're probably dealing with some negativity on their own. And most likely, it's not even you. You're just, a, you're just there, you know? You're there, you're happy, they see you happy, they envy your happiness, and they want to try to take it away from you. But it's up to you if you let them have it. It's up to you. You control that. If you want to give it... To, give away everything that you've worked so hard for to somebody who thinks so small and thinks of you so little then that's your own problem I'm not about to do that I'm not about to do that but yeah man sorry to go in just had to do it had to do it to him I'm excited to be in the 60s crazy man podcast episode 60 trying to uh keep it moving man keep it moving we're just cruising but yeah man hope everyone's doing good much love have a good weekend i'll talk to y'all soon peace